Back in the early 2000s, there was nothing better than coming home and blasting through a level of Doom. Since then, Doom has evolved into one of the most iconic franchises of all time. So I'm getting three of the best AI models to recreate Doom from scratch. So let's start with ChatGPT 5.1. I'm not actually going to be using the official website because it just the canvas does not work. So instead, I'm going to be using Cursor and it's the exact same thing. All right, so let's just switch to 5.1 Codex High. So this should give us the best result for ChatGPT. Before this video, I got ChatGPT to write out its own massive prompt. All right, so let's just paste it all in. Look at that. I mean, it's a massive long list. It should include all of the classic Doom things. Okay, so now 1,000. 1446 lines of code later it is done it's called it hellfound protocol oh okay so i'm really liking the main screen it's got going on here it's got a very very nice glowing red containment ruptured inside a rusted crucible station orbiting a dying sun so it just immediately died but okay oh okay um i have no idea what's going on i click and now i cannot move and if i refresh i just instantly die at this point this could definitely just be the watch me tie difficulty. This is looking quite exquisite. The only issue is I spawn in and instantly die. It also seems like I can't really move around either. Please fix this. Oh, okay. Here we go. So now we can actually explore the world. This definitely does look like hell if I've ever seen it. All right. So we got our little enemies coming towards us. Oh, okay. We're actually losing health. Oh my God. We got our health and wave number in the top left. I like that. We've got some interesting looking level design. Everything's nice and dark and ominous. We've got a riot scatter. Oof, look at that. Look at that disintegration. This actually looks decent. So let's get our bone ripper now. So I don't is this is that an enemy? I can't seem to kill it, but okay. Oof. Now I think that's meant to be the chainsaw. And it works very, very well. Oblivion spitter. Lovely little rockets. That is a very nice projectile. This might have made it actually too easy. My health is not going down that much. <laughs> oh, we've actually unlocked now the verdict core. And that is quite powerful. So what is in the middle here? Pool of lava? I'm still loving this gradient. And the sky's got some dynamic little hellish rainbows. I like it. You know what? It's done a good job for its first iteration. So now let's add some extra features. So what I'm thinking is that we should add explosive barrels. So these are red barrels that explode when you shoot them. Please add explosive barrels. And then I've explained what it is right here. We'll see how it interprets that. Make the map larger and more interesting. Be sure to add textures. Okay, so here we go. We've got some barrels now. They have like an interesting little texture to them as well. It kind of looks like a belt. You know what? That's okay. Let's try and shoot it. And it explodes. Quite accurate, of course. Oh, it's kind of changed the enemies up a little bit as well. I mean, what, what is that? It has some like horns coming out of it. It's an interesting approach. What is that? Why is there a planet floating about trying to chase me? Oh, what the hell? That is a giant pillar or a giant barrel. And I have no idea what that pink thing that keeps spawning in is. What is that? What, what the hell? Oh, look at this type of enemy. There's some spikes coming out the head of it. It's quite a wide one as well. It's more durable than the others. Takes two hits to kill. Okay, so now I feel like adding the classic locked doors and you need key cards to actually enter them. So hopefully it can interpret that correctly. So we're actually kind of starting to build up doom here. So now let's see if we can find any key cards. Let me just blow some barrels up real quick because why not? Oh, okay, here it is. Blue key card acquired. Where's the blue door? Oh, there it is. The door's halfway through the wall. Oh, interesting animation. The room seems to be on the other side. This counts as another room, I suppose. Come on, what's in this room? Absolutely nothing. I said there should be enemies in here and... Oh, actually there are. What the hell is that? These pink weird things are in here. This is an interesting attempt from ChatGPT. All right, so now let's move on to Gemini 3, thinking of course, with 3 Pro. And now let's enable the canvas. So let's paste the exact same prompt and see what it does with it. And it's called it Neuro Slayer. Industrial Hell Awaits. Purge the Corruption. Okay, that's an interesting name and tagline. Uh, um, you instantly get a victory. I think it's just, it knows that I'm that good at this game. But there you go. I currently can't look around. When I click to play, it instantly gives me a victory. Okay, so now it claims to have fixed it. And I also did ask it to add some sort of retro textures just to make it look a bit better. So let's see if it's actually improved it. Ooh. This looks really nice. It's got that nice jagged pixelated look. All oh, the enemies look very interesting too. So it seems like we've got a little shotgun here. 
and they flash red with particles. I like it. And it spawns more enemies. Okay, so it actually does something when you clear the sector. We've also got the classic little face, but it's replaced with an emoji. And look at this wall over here. We can actually clip through that. That's not intentional, but it does show us that it's got some very nice looking lava behind here. That's what I will say about this, that Gemini's made it very aesthetically nice. So what other weapons do we have here? We have like a little, it looks like a key card, but I assume it's meant to be a pistol. The fire rate kind of works in the same way. So look at the third weapon we've got here. I assume this is meant to be the BFG. I'm not sure if the projectile is going to be any different, but let's have a look. Oh, it is. It's not shooting green projectiles, but it's close enough. Oof, one shot in them. Easy. Also, this pillar's texture here looks like a bunch of gums been stuck on the wall. Yeah, why not? That, that is doom. Now let's get it to start adding some features. So I'm thinking jump pads, because who doesn't just like to be flung across the map? So let's just add it to number one. Number two, teleport pads. Let's add some different rooms you can enter. We've spawned in midair. What the hell is happening? <laughs> actually spawned on the jump pad so that just projects you as high as you want i suppose I actually have the key cards and they're on top of a sort of box just like doom so let's use the jump pad to actually get up there okay red key acquired and this is a massive giant red door but it has actually created a room red door opened and what is this health boost Health bonus, 150 health now. Okay, the blue key card, it has been obtained. So let's see what's in this room. We've got a green, is that a BFG gun? Or oh, is the BFG 9000? Another health thing? Ammo, okay. This looks like the teleport pad, what well, it has to be. Oh, and it does teleport you to the other side of the map. I think what we need now is an actual massive boss to fight. Make one giant boss spawn in. Oh, cyber demon approaching. Oh, look at that. Kind of looks like the ender dragon in a way. Oh, look at that. It, it kind of like blinks. Oh, he's not going down easily. Okay, well, it actually kind of is. I'm happy with this. So now lastly, let's go ahead and try the new Claude that just came out, Opus 4.5. So let's just go and give it the prompt. There we go. Wow, okay. The title screen already looks really cool. Look at the glow effect it's got going on there. It's actually pulsating. Enter hell. A nice CSS style button here. This looks nice. What? The crosshair's glowing. It graphically looks pleasing. The UI actually matches the aesthetic of the game. I couldn't ask for more. So we've got a blaster, a shredder, a ripper, hellfire, and void cannon. Let's blast some of these enemies up. Oof. Hell claims another soul. Hellfire, we have to hellfire these enemies up. I actually suck at this game, oh my god. Now, can I actually jump on these platforms without clipping through? I can. Now, apart from killing those enemies, there's not too much to do. I think I wanna add the feature where when you kill an enemy, it actually drops an item or like a power up. Implement a randomizer that when you kill an enemy, they either drop a weapon or a power up. Let's add some finisher animations. Let's take a look at the new and improved game. If we kill some enemies, let's see what happens. Oh, obliterator. You see that? We actually get some messages popping up on the screen with a nice animation. Oh, pulverized. Oh, and it drops something up here. Let's take a look at this. Speed boost. Oh, look at that. I like that. And it's got some flashing on the screen to indicate when it's going to run out, I suppose. And I didn't even ask it. I just said power up. So I guess it's come up with its own list of power ups and items. Let's see what happens. Oh, triple kill. Paradox demon saying sorry in advance. What is, what is this? Rex. Oh no, I'm about to die. What? I don't even know what that was. That was like a custom enemy right there or something. I don't think that was an item. Oh, okay. There's a massive boss enemy just spawned. Oh, oh what is this thing? It's, it's, it's like stuck in a pillar. Is that a cake? What? what? The boss is talking to me. Oh, oh yeah. A cake's actually spawned. What the hell? Demonic cake, 25 HP. Oh, that was like a little health boost. It's actually added its own dialogue. Intense overload. Spell red. Oh my, more enemies have spawned. Oh my God. This game's actually not that easy. Oh, he's spinning around. Boss annihilated and hell has been conquered. The demons bow before you. Exactly. And there you have it. I mean, I don't even think I need to add anything more to that. I'm actually really impressed with Claude Opus. That's actually probably the best out of the three.